Alright guys, recently I decided to challenge myself. I realized that I was now able to play Sacred Shrine and unlock Yasu. In fact, in no time I'm going to be unlocking Branch, so stay tuned for that. Now I didn't want to just go into a hard mode map with 3 people, complete the thing, then grind some coins because that would make for a boring video, right? Right? Instead I decided to make it my goal to get Yasu all by myself. I was going to solo Sacred Shrine, hard mode. <laughs> Now the first time going into this map, I was already on a winning streak, you know just trying to collect some more badges. I thought it was going to be simple. I got crushed into the dirt. No God! No God, please no! 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 This is when I decided that I was going to need a strategy. After searching on YouTube for the most recent and reliable solo run, I copped the deck and said to myself, <laughs> I'm fu- <laughs> Now my first room was a bit rough so I decided I'm going to have to do the exact same thing as this guy. The only problem was that in the span of 2 years a lot has changed. I thought Keith got buffed since then. <laughs> but it turns out he got nerfed into the dirt. And the same for Stella. After spending 40 minutes studying this guy solo on. I made myself a guide and decided that I was ready to get back into it. It's on screen just in case you guys want to murder yourself trying it out. Now believe me when I say that this was difficult. I lost many, many times. But I managed to adapt to each problem that came up and eventually I made it to the boss. Wait a minute, let's run that back. I'm just after remembering that this wasn't even a proper solo run. I think I just got tired of trying to solo at this point. The only problem is that my teammate very literally just left the game after placing like 4 towers. In my eyes this is 100% a solo run with just extra support. But none of that matters if I can't actually complete the map. Let's see how it went. Inflation for all the haters that said that he couldn't make it. My brother drowned in the lake. How could all you people mistake it? He fought hard for what he had. Murderers holding guns. You worried about all the extra to water gets in your lungs, man. Hey, how could you do this shit? How could you do this when you know I'm going through this shit? Real shit, G shit. I really do this shit. I ain't about it, but you know I'm walking through this shit. Look, eight rounds in the 45 and go down. Look, eight rounds in the 45 and go down. Look, eight rounds in the 45. Eight rounds in the 45, they go down. Eight rounds in the 45, they go down. Eight rounds in the 45, they go down. Yeah. 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 Fuck, I ran, I hit the dealer. Serving Coke 45 at the bleachers. Try to follow for a follow, I'm the leader. Hit the bitch, then I pass, I don't need her. But. Don't call Peter Like the Griffins with the lowest with the Peter At the pass he be smoking gasoline I cannot, I cannot fuck with the Lena I had literally done everything perfectly and was repainting my drawings as we speak. It was up to my towers to just absolutely obliterate majority of his health. Right? Not right! Bro, what in the hell? What in the six bomba rascal pussy bomba block that egg? When my towers were supposed to deal 90% of the boss's health and these fools did less than half. Not only do I think the boss got buffed, but I also think that the devs buffed Keat just so that everyone would be happy while they secretly nerfed Stella and Keat into the dirt. Absolutely horrendous. This boss finished me with half its health left. And that's when I decided <laughs> this solo is not happening. I thought to myself, maybe I should just get a teammate and we can do all this. Bro, it's not even easy to do all either. I lost the first time because my teammate was kinda tapped. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. But apart from that, I got an actual good teammate later on who was willing to help me with this and we failed multiple times. 
and even with the multiple new decks we put together it still was not enough and yes i did try this method and no it did not work everything about el goblino got destroyed every single thing the boss got away with 100k hp soon enough we lost hope of duo I saw that one method on YouTube, but as soon as I saw the guy was using Soda Pop and Wizard, I said, nah fam, I'm actually satisfied bro. In no universe was I about to spend another half hour studying this guy's strategy just to find out the stats of the towers he used were obliterated into the dust. It's almost as if Hilo does not want it to be possible. The only other option was to get a third teammate and just call it a day. I don't really wanna lose this Been lying to myself Girl, you know that I've been through this Waves of crashing scars and bruises I don't think that I can do this I don't think that I can do this When these waves come crashing down Yeah, my feet won't reach the ground Yeah, the waves come crashing down We destroyed the boss. I unlocked the Asuk but was beyond too poor to buy it. For any of you who ever tried to solo this, make sure to let me know in the comments. I literally spent two weeks recording this video for the most anticlimactic end ever. Almost like Mr. Beast's recent YouTube video. Subscribe, leave a like, and join my Discord server because it's a wasteland in there, bro. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!